never been to easy to to uh, for now for Roger and Rick to get together to actually well make music or perform together. This is so different personalities. <laughs> In terms of uh, Super Tramp itself, I mean, you guys kind of, you, you called it quits in the 90s, I think it was, and then you came back again in the 2000s. Was it 2012, the last time you guys were together? Is there any any thoughts of, of trying to bring it back again? It would be good. It, it would be great. What would be good would be to have the original five. Yes. Because Dougie kind of left at some stage when we were working with Rick. Uh, and to get Roger back, and we could probably do really well and make and do good tours or a tour or whatever, but it's probably going to be too much for the health, mm -hmm. uh, especially Rick, yeah. because in um, we were due to do another tour in 2015. Europe was booked, tickets were being sold, and Rick uh, got multiple myeloma uh, and had to fight that, and so everything was cancelled, and there's been nothing since. So what happened in the um, the eighties? We carried on with Rick in the eighties and yeah. made a few albums, and then there was a time when he he wanted some time off and maybe to write, or and there was a there was a chance of him doing a solo album, which never materialised. And it was during that time that I decided that I decided that I would study music. Yes. For a change, and so in ninety two, I. I came back from California to, to this country to study in Manchester, of all places, <laughs> which is quite near to my hometown anyway. Uh, so, yeah, so the things kind of changed then. And then later in the 90s, Rick thought, well, well let's make another Supertramp album, which he, which he did. I went, and just before that, in 96, I'd gone to work with Roger again. Roger had a project that that uh, that involved his son on drums and and uh, several other people, and I played I played with him on that project. And then I went to Los Angeles and rehearsed, and then recorded with uh, with Rick to do another Super Jump album. And then we we toured that the, the next year, ninety seven, yeah. toured that. So we we sporadically played after that. And uh, there was another album in two thousand and two. Which was just after the 9 11 incident. So that I was kind of marred by that it, physically, trying to get to the States and mm -hmm. record and everything. And I can't remember all the tours, but 2010 was quite big. Yes, yep. That was good. Europe, Canada, US, that, that was good. But it, the, the, we were all looking forward to the 2015, but it, it seems that the, the, uh, Touring is quite hard physically. You've got to look after yourself, but it's, yep. you've got to be quite strong to do it. So I don't think we will. It's it, maybe there's a slight possibility that we might do one off or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's, but it's never been easy to to uh, for now for Roger and Rick to get together to actually well make music or perform together. Yeah. This yeah. is so different personalities. Yeah. Roger's the seeker. Rick's got his feet on the ground anyway. I think he's already sneaked <laughs> found, <laughs> found it. I don't know. He's the already sought, indeed. The country <laughs> versus the city. <laughs> <laughs>